Okay, today I'm gonna to show you a piece of technology I'm really excited about. This is an ultrasonic bone scalpel. So the thing that makes this very fancy, very high tech, is that this blade oscillates at a high frequency so it will not cut tissue. This is on my finger, won't cut tissue. The reason that's important is when we do spine surgery, delicate things such as a balloon, nerves, tissue, it won't cut. I'm doing this on the outside of the balloon, it won't cut. The reason spine surgeons use tools like this is it take the bone spurs, to take the arthritis away from the nerves. So using a tool like this, while it looks sharp, it's delicate. It's not at all cutting this bone. Traditionally, what many, many spine surgeons use, and I still use this on a lot of cases, is a burr. It's a rotating burr that has sharp edges, just like that. This burr, We'll definitely pop balloons and rip dura. That's one of the many nice advantages of something like this, the ultrasonic bone scalpel. I have a spine model over here with one of my models who'll be modeling it for me. And let me kind of show you how this works. So if this is the spine model, traditionally surgeons might use a burr, and I won't do this because it's, you know, it's a dangerous tool. I'm not even gonna use it around the same model here, but I use this burr down here around the bones, and that's a great way to remove some of the bone spurs. But this newer technology, one of the technologies I'm very excited about the upcoming year is this bone scalpel, where it just makes these small cuts going back and forth, back and forth. You can see it's just nice and easy cuts, nice and easy cuts. Just like that, we'll have now a cut in the bone. This little gap here is where the surgeon can now minimally invasively go in, remove additional bone spurs. Again, traditionally, many people use this burr. Again, I'm not gonna do it around Sam because it could be a little dangerous if you slip or anything. But this burr is one way to move the bone. That's also a great way. I still use that in many surgeries. But the nice thing is this minimally invasive technology that again, if I slip, I'm not hurting Sam. He's totally safe, but it will cut away bone spurs and it essentially melts away the bone. See, I can use this to make a little cavity. I can widen open these tunnels with this safe technology. So it's definitely a technology I'm excited about. It's a technology I use often. Anything that helps the patient get better faster, use less narcotics and get back to work, get back to their jobs, get back to their family faster. It's definitely a technology that I'm very excited about in the upcoming year.